Good afternoon and good evening, everybody. I think the basic problem of Nigeria, of Africa, is that we're in a logic of poverty. So let's address it. I think that the socioeconomic situation today in Africa that we call poverty is largely our incapacity to efficiently harness the opportunity sets around us today. This is the basic definition of poverty. For agriculture, agricultural growth to become a motto to our socioeconomic development and the eradication of poverty, it requires the concomitant development of the secondary and tertiary sectors. There must be dynamic forward and backward linkages between agriculture and other sectors. Agriculture will never develop by itself, but requires a complex integrated system to support it, market its products, and provide inputs, credits, and technology and management. An integrated development model that includes these services and linkages should be embraced. Rural growth will be difficult to take off without this enabling and complementary services here. Now, this is what you are doing here now. It must be agri um, agriculture here, but production, all of them. The middle of it is training the new human capacity that is capable of pushing by the constraints and making things happen. We're going to talk about them here. Now, the main drivers of this. The first of all, we are looking at an agriculture that has a multifunctionality. This agriculture we're looking at that will change things and make us come out of the poverty must provide food in sufficient quantities to a population that is increasingly demanding in terms of quality and diversity, production that delivers sufficient quantities of self-wholesome food items that assist in disease prevention, healthy living and healthy aging. This agriculture must provide competitive inputs and raw materials for agro-industry. How can we develop against China and importing even our raw materials from all, all these places. There's no way. We are exporting poverty, I mean, we're exporting wealth and importing poverty in Nigeria. To provide food stock for renewable energy and supply, these are the type of things the new term that agriculture to provide here. Again, the second, the second driver that we can see about here is technology. Given the high level of productivity required to kickstart this process, Technologies that only guarantee incremental growth will never be enough. We need leapfrogging and sustainable technologies to do this. They must be deployed. Technological development, therefore, has a major role to play in the African agribusiness and socioeconomic development. The concept of sustainable development um, implies that we can increase our productivity while at the same time enhancing and our, our environment. We must therefore develop technologies that enable our agriculture to provide more with less. This is only possible within an integrated system of production where the principles of synergy, complementarity, supplementarity, and negative introduce will be in play. This is what we're really providing here. We are to zero emission research initiative. We must produce more with less. In Nigeria, we are producing less with more. We must reverse it. Now look at what is the conventional agriculture, this is what you've seen here. All these things are wastages, all these colors here come over there, they are waste in the environment. But this is what we are providing. Look at what we're doing as some guy. Not waste at all. The menu, the waste from the animal, from the menu to buy a guy to pump filling, nothing is wasted here. We call it wealth to waste to wealth. This is what is an integrated system, primary production, kind of forward and backward linkages, nothing is wasted again. We start from here, we're over there, there's nothing wasted, we'll come back to that again. Now look at the primary agriculture that we're seeing here now. This is crop, the waste from here becomes seen put in here, the waste from here, be, and the middle of it, all the energy we use must be provided from the waste. We have enough waste, we're generating a lot of them that will provide all the energy that we need here. I'm going to show you how it happens. Look at how a typical street or farm look like dirty. All these are waste. All these are turned into waste, but they are nutrients to be harvested. We have planted all those plants here where they're going to now harness. Look at all these plants here. They are harvesting the solar energy, all the waste into that water now, and then converting and mining them, and this is what we are doing. Now look at, these are the waste from the animal and chick, even from our own waste here. It is flowing over there. Those plants are mining them, sending the reps to the rice, and we are producing three times a year, six tons per hectare, using this method here. Nothing. So the waste is what is feeding us here. Next one. Now, this is where the waste are coming from, the kitchen everywhere, but they're going through Gaza Strip, or I call it Gaza Strip. All the waste are being captured here, 
mined. The nutrients are being mined by this water hyacinth. We see them all around you here. But what are they doing? This is the fastest growing biomass in the world. It is the gift to us from God. It is mining the solar energy. It is the best solar panel. What is it doing? It is making sure that the pollution is not killing us. The other side now, we are seeing, this is the side of it now. We are growing fish, no more pollution. And look at the tons of them. Look at again, look at the clean water that is coming out of it now. Next one. This is our toilet. You come here, it's hundreds and tens of people going over there. No smell at all because we put some bacteria here that are helping all the waste from humans from everywhere coming over here, breaking them down. And this water has said it's mining all the nutrients. No more smell. The next one here, then the animals are eating them again. So all that thing. So you see, nothing is being wasted in that system. Now, the same water hyacinth is chopped up and then is chopped up to create gas. The gas is now used to create electricity. Now, you see, now we're creating rural electrification. We need 7% growth of energy in every place in Nigeria for us to meet the Millennium Development Goal. This the only way we can do it is the modular energy production that can solve all that problem. Look at it now. Now, look at this new technology we're talking about, the crop production. Look at what is going on. Now, everything is recycled. Nothing is wasted. Now, look at all the things I chopped up. We created this machine. We call it Ramia Chip Wood. Because, do you know, that more than 80% of the animal biomass are on the soil. You, our dogs and our chicken, we are less than 20%. But we have killed all of them with our chemicals. So we are now redoing, using all wood to rebuild the bacteria so that they will feed us. Because our soils are living. This is what is happening. Everything is chopped up. Now look at the result of that one. Look at the productivity. Look at that. You can see them. Look at that. The new world. This is what we're doing at Songa. Look at the corn. This is sweet corn. Every time you come at Songa, all year round we are producing, thanks, it doesn't rain at all. Those woods that are over there, they're now holding the nutrients and the water and giving them to the plants every day, every time. Look at the productivity. Now, look at the tomatoes here. Isn't that one? Why are we dying of hunger? They were producing this small thing, five tons of tomatoes every week. Now, look at that. Using this new technology. Look at that. Now, again, the new term of this irrigation, these are young graduates when I'm putting them to work. Look at the carrot. The carrot now, pro, pro. These women are now making carrot soap, carrot juice, every kind of thing. All the, the good carrots are used in the, in the kitchen or in the restaurant, but the other ones that are not nice, we crush them out, make carrot juice, which is good for you. And carrot soup, all these girls, if you use carrot soup, you'll be all more beautiful. Okay. As Nike was saying today. Now, look at it. That's what Nike was saying. I learned from Nike today. So, and growing, look at what is happening here. Now, look at that. Look at it. Anyway, there's a productivity. Look at the tomatoes. Look at the pepper. Look at that. There's more pepper than leaves. All the beans. This is being done going about five times to the market with all this type of thing going. Look at what is going on. The purple. This is perfumed one. can ship anywhere in the world. This is only few months old. This is a new technology. Look at this. 450 young people in Enugu have been started. We are creating an entrepreneurial zone. An entrepreneurial zone and green rural city where you have the primary production, secondary, and tertiary over there. Now, this is the type of things that are producing here, producing all year round. This is what is going on. This is that productivity. Look at that. On that. This is strawberry in Nigeria. We are producing tons of them. For that's what technology can bring all about. All organic, no chemicals. Look at the new Irish potatoes, all produced that. I took the gem plasma from some this over here. This can grow, you can grow it anywhere around your backyard. Now look at, we don't use any chemicals here. These are the insects here, little boys. They look at the bad ones and remove them. We are claiming that balance, that uh, ecological balance. We don't use any chemicals. All these are called integrated pest management. They find the bad ones out to them. These are the, uh, these are the, these are the mobile policemen. They're not the ones taking their 20 naira. These are the looking for the bad ones. <laughs> Looking for the bad ones here and carrying them away. Look at them. You see, they're not patrolling. They're not looking for 20 naira. They're looking for the bad guys to remove them. Okay. Now, look at them. Now, and then look at the productivity here. Mushroom, the waste from the palm are used to create oyster mushroom, all of them. Now the bees again. Now we're making the bees coming back again. The bees will give us honey. They will give us uh, the, uh, the, the wax. And also they will pollinate all our plants and the producer goes, oh, this is what we are doing. We have thousands and thousands of beehives working for us here. So the new things are happening. Green rural cities are the young people who are putting back to work. Look at this one. 
These are the drone presses. This is, we designed these machines ourselves. We modify them and we're now tearing up. This is what Songa is doing to keep food to the hazard. This is all our own design. We're doing them, producing. You see crop animal production now. These are the type of things we're doing now. The broiler cages. Look at this how we're doing. Instead of the, the sleep, sleeping on the waste, we are collecting every morning. We are selling the chicken droppings to the biogas production, to the fertilization. So nothing is wasted. We sell anything. Now, look at over there. Now, the quail production. I came from California with 32 quail eggs from my, from my, uh, brief, uh, my briefcase. We are now producing 1,500 every day out of that one here. Wow. So, what is going on? Look at the quails. Quails were originally Africans. We disappeared and brought them back. These are two months they are their mothers again, from baby to two months. Look at them now. This is our producing tons of all intensive, correct. Look at these beautiful ones here. But, but, you know, look at this one. We developed them here now. You can put them around your backyard. They produce egg and meat. This one, they're not afraid of anybody. <laughs> okay, now this one. <laughs> so this is what is going over there and free range. Look at what is over there. Look at the productivity. Grass cutter. This is, look at them here. Instead of going and burning type of thing, we are producing tons and tons of them here. Yeah. They come in the morning, they are domesticated, you can play with them. 17 babies, all of them wow. over there. You see, what is possible? No one will die. They are very happy over there. Now, over the cow brew. Now, this is green recipes over Now, look at the aquaculture that I've seen over there coming back again now. And this is coming. Look at this. They are very, very intelligent. Whenever they are hungry, they move that in and the food will fall off. We even, our fish are intelligent. We are training them how to eat, not to waste food at all. <laughs> Look at that productivity. I know that. Too. Look at that. Look at these fish. Here. Look at how big they are. Nine months we can, with natural food, no chemicals at all. Look at what is going on and all the catfish here. Now we see we produce, instead of exporting wealth, importing poverty, we keep the buck here. We keep the values over there. This is what we are doing. All this. Now all the nyama nyama metal, we melt them up here. We use them to make all the machines. Now these are barefoot engineers. We are training. They are producing all these machines for palm oil, all of the things they are doing. This is what, and when they export, look at that production. Look at this. Young people come back. Nigeria could be different. Look at what's going Look at the young people. We put them back to work now and they are proud of what they are doing. Look at that. Rice is better than any imported rice. Now, look at them here. Yeah? Look at them. I've been selling them everywhere. Rice productivity. Look at what is going on. All these are cash We are now shipping the cashews. Now, this is a new industrial setup. We are producing 12,000 bottles every hour here. All the things. Look at what is going on. We design and build it ourselves. It is possible. We can do it. Look at what is going on. Look at all these other things that you see. All this um, pure water pump that two are we now collected all of them, cleaned them up. We're now making buckets and bottles with them. Now look at what they're doing. All those pure water bottles, we are collecting them. Now look at this. All the productivity coming over there. Look at that. And then mango, 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 and the dye and the cost um, the century. We are now drying them. We can stay for three years. Now all this puree, we bottle them now to make all the juices for us. We are now exporting them in Arabic, in French, any language. Let's go over there. Let's feed them over there. Now look at what is going on there. We are putting them now. Cassava industry. All the young people could be uh, look at the gorilla ball here. All of them. Look at the sausages. Hmm, smells good, eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, now look at what is going on. It is possible, all the soap. Now we produce, we uh, industry, we market them too. And the middle of this technology, the new learning we're doing, this is our model here. Yeah. We're selling all the things we're doing okay. in the restaurants, all the, except the, the glass there, everything is made there. Okay, <laughs> now look at all this type of suya. This is now ecotourism. We built all this ourselves. This is five star hotels, some of you have built over there. This is the new eco. We call it Green African Green Reset. You produce there, you transform there. You also have the services there. Look at what we design and build it ourselves. These are young brothers and sisters. Look, you can stay some months in Songa and enjoy yourselves. Look at what is going on. This is all the, how the rooms look like. Come over there, the Songa rivers. This is what is going on and all that. Look at that, how it looks like today. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, this kind of thing, I'm going very fast. I want to respect the time. Look at what is going on over there. Now, these are the world leaders visiting Songhai. This is Ban Ki-moon and Kofi Annan are teasing here. See, when you people are there, you forget Africa. After when you kick their away, you come back to Africa. And he was laughing. <laughs> now, this is what is going on over there going. And this is this and this. Thank you very much. I <laughs>